we're gonna be making hot stitch on my piano like this SA. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Ambitious Kid, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make hot ski jam piano like Guxa SA right here on Apple Studio Mobile for beginners. And guys, the good news is that I'm going to be giving away this hot Guxa Apple Studio project file to you guys for free. Yes, guys, absolutely for free. But guys, before you download this hot project file, make sure that you subscribe and watch this video carefully because in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the unlock password for this hot project file okay guys let's get right into the hot i'm a piano video Okay guys, so the first thing I started doing when I was making this hot Nguxa Skija type beat was that I started at the shakers. So I started entering a shaker loop which sounds like this. Super nice and hot guys. And the BPM of this beat is 112. As you can see right there guys. It should be 112 because this shaker loop move at 112 guys. And then when you can press the shaker loop and say a D you can see the closer range of the shaker loop which looks like this guys nice and hot guys so I'm gonna press X and we're gonna go and check out my next instrument that I used that was the hot purity strings and then if we can go inside the hot purity strings when we press a D you can see that I doubled my strings guys by using the C5 note and this bottom note too guys so they can be doubled and guys the reason why i doubled these strings is because if i can remove this one as you can see i can say delete it doesn't sound that powerful when it's alone it doesn't have that much energy in it so if i can double them you can feel that there's more energy towards it guys like this So guys, that's the reason why I double my strings all the time, guys, so that they can have more of that energy. Okay, guys, hope you've learned something about this. So I'm going to press X now and go into the next instrument. So my next instrument, guys, when making this beat is the aqua lid. And it sounds like this. Super hot melody, guys. And then when we press A deep, we can see inside how i made the super hot aqua lid and guys the super hot aqua lid you find it at the gms right here so as you can see through gms up here and then what you're gonna do is that you find it at the gms at the leads and then you can start using your hot melody guys so that's how i use my my aqua lid just like that Okay guys, moving on to the next instrument, I have my nice bass 44 strings, so they sound like this. And guys, this is the vital ingredient of my bass, so it sounds like this guys. Nice and hot bass guys, and let's get inside to see how I made them. Just like that guys. So I use this note, then the lower note guys to hit everything up. It was quite simple and quite cool guys. So it all sounds like this. 
hot speed your beat guys hot speed so i'm gonna press x right now and then we're gonna go in to other instruments like the d-tune so this is my d-tune guys this is how it sounds like and then if i can press edit guys you'll see how my d-tune looks like how i made it so this is how it i made it guys inside And then guys, let me quickly show you guys where you can find this hot lead in the GMS2, GMS synth, just like that guys. And then if I can quickly show you guys step by step on how you find it, because a lot of you guys have been asking me to show you guys some step by step stuff. So what you're going to do to find the GMS melody that sounds like this is that you're going to press plus right here. You're going to go to GMS. You are going to go to leads right here. And when you scroll down, you'll see something called the D-Tune right here, guys. Okay, guys, moving on to the next instrument. I have my bass moto strings, which I didn't use in this beat, as you can see. So we'll skip that part since I didn't use them. I think I deleted them so we are moving on to my log drums now so in order to move on to my log drums guys I have to switch on my nice bass 44 just like that and then what we're gonna do now is that I'm gonna put this play button somewhere here so that we can start listening to our hot log drums so my first log drum is the Zen log 1 and then it sounds like this super hot bass guys and this is how it sounds like when i click it it's just a nice lock drum like a sub lock drum and then if i can play it for you guys sounds like this again up here nice hot lock drum guys so moving on to my next Log drum. I have the log drum 2, which sounds like this. This is just an original log drum to help boost my send log, and then they all sound like this now. super hot guys and what i did to boost my log drum too is that if you can press this little triangle here on this right side of the screen it will show you this graph and i used the leveler guys to increase the volume of my log drum as you can see the leveler increases the volume guys and make this and it makes this beat sound really hard guys especially with the log drums so that's how I did my log drums to hit really hard guys using the leveler and let me quickly show you guys how to insert a leveler you wanna press plus on the add module you're gonna see where it says leveler right there you're gonna click it and then there you go guys there's your leveler down below since I won't be needing two levelers guys I'll be deleting this one by pressing these three lines at the right side pressing delete so just like that guys so moving on to my next log drum guys is the bass dub synth bass 4 and then this is how it sounds like guys super hot bass guys and then since it's not that loud let me get inside and play it for you guys it sounds like this guys for those who couldn't hear it accordingly So that's the role it plays guys. It gives it that hot Gugza or Zenten type bass. That futuristic bass. Super hot guys. So that's its job guys. To just make the log drums look nicer. Just to decorate stuff. So that's it guys for this log drum. So we're gonna move on to my other log drums because when I make an Amma Piano beat guys, I use a lot of log drums so that it can hit really hard guys. 
So my next block drum here is the clank bass and then it sounds like this. Just like that guys and this is how the clank bass sounds like. Super hard guys, super hard and um, this is how I pack them here so that they can become cool with the beat. Super hard guys, so that's why I use my clank bass here so that they can also make the beat look fire and sound really hot guys. So that's how I did the third log drum or is it the fourth log drum and then the other instrument I used guys is the shaker to boost up my beat just like this as you can hear it with my new shaker this sounds more fire and more energetic guys super hot beat guys super hot beat okay guys moving on to my fifth log drum i have the corrugated log drum one which sounds like this just like that guys and then this is the role it plays in the beat guys i'll start playing it here because it starts here just like that guys just like that guys as you can hear the road the corrugated log drum plays super cool guys really cool Gong. just like that guys really smooth and guys my other instrument i used here is the fx3 wave 03 wave which sounds like this guys really popular effects these days guys just like that guys just like that that was a hot effect and the other effects i used here is the long mixer which sounds like this if i can mute the whole thing let's say if i switch off everything here so that i can play you guys the last effects because it's a little bit not that loud so this is how it sounds like guys just like that guys that's my last fx right there and then guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys are gonna enjoy your free project file for just watching my tutorials and guys Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure that you subscribe and leave a like and a comment too guys on which tutorial I should bring up again for you guys. Thank you so much guys for watching.